this video is about how to find the probability of a compound event. That means like more than one thing happening. And in particular, this is when the probabilities of things happening are not equally likely. So for example, when you flip a coin, the probability of a head, heads versus a tails is 50-50. So those are equally likely. However, in this case, um, Elena has a bag with five marbles, two are green, two are red, and one is yellow. So the probability of picking a green versus a yellow is not the same. So these are not equally likely. She's going to pull one marble from the bag, put it back, and pull another. And you're going to use an area model in this case to determine the probabilities of the different um, color combinations. So when you're doing an area model, once again, you're using that concept of the area of a rectangle to set this up. Some people like to set it up because there's two, two, and one. Some people might set it up so that the probabilities are somewhat proportionally represented in here. So this would be green, red, and yellow. And then you can write the probability of each. So once again, there's five marbles. Two, fit, two of the five are green. So I can write two fifths. Two of the five are red, two fifths, and one fifth are yellow. Now I'm gonna she's gonna pull it out one, so this is gonna be like your first pull. And then she's also gonna do this, she's gonna put all of them back in, so there's still five marbles in the bag, and then she's gonna do it again. So I'm gonna kinda do the same thing again. And so I'm gonna have green, and since there's still the two green marbles in there, it's still two fifths, red, still all of them are in there, two fifths, and yellow, one fifth. Now, and then what you're going to do is you're going to find out, like, what are the different things that are happening? Well, if this happened, pulling a green first and then pulling another green. Or you could put a red first, then a green. Yellow first, then a green. And then what are the probabilities of these things? This was two-fifths for the first and two-fifths for the second. So this would be four twenty-fifths probability. This one, the same thing, two-fifths times two-fifths. So two-fifths times two-fifths equals four twenty-fifths. And here we have yellow one-fifth probability times green two-fifths equals two twenty-fifths. So let's kind of go through it. I would highly recommend you kind of pausing the video at this point and then kind of filling in the rest of it. So let's kind of pause. Come back. Okay, so let's kind of finish up so you can kind of compare with what I did. So the next one is green, then red, red, then red, yellow, then red. And the probability is two-fifths times two-fifths. So we've already done that a number of times, four twenty-fifths. Two-fifths times two-fifths, four twenty-fifths. One-fifth times two-fifths, two twenty-fifths. Last um, row is green and yellow, red and yellow, yellow and yellow. And this was two fifths times one fifth, so this is two twenty fifths. This is two fifths times one fifth, so two twenty fifths. And the last one is one fifth times one fifth, or one twenty fifth. Now, it's asking you for how many different possible outcomes there are. So picking, so the important thing here to notice is that you might have something like a yellow, then a green, versus a green, then a yellow. Those are actually different outcomes. So all the different things that we can do, okay, there are a total of, so green, green, there's no other green, greens, red, greens, nope. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different outcomes. Okay, so each one of these is a different outcome. Green, green, red, green, yellow, green, green, red, and what have you. 
Now, the other thing is like then starting to be able to, how do you interpret this diagram to kind of pull information out? So what's the probability of green and green? So here's green, then green. That's four twenty-fifths. What's the probability of picking a red first and then for our second pull getting a yellow? So that's right there. Two twenty-fifths. You know, you could show the math of what it is. How do you get it? It's two-fifths times one-fifth. So that's how we get the two twenty-fifths. What's the probability of either red first or yellow first? Well, I can get, there's two-fifths way in terms of my first pull that I could get red. And I can also pick yellow first. The other possibility is yellow first, so that's one-fifth that I could do that. So together, three-fifths of the things that I can do would be either red first or yellow first. And then what's the probability of a second marble yellow? Second marble being yellow. So it doesn't matter. I could pick any one of these. So it's like 100% that one of those could happen. So that's not going to impact anything. And then the probability of a second yellow is just like here are all the things that can happen. Yellow second, which is one-fifth. I could add up all of those if I wanted to. Two twenty-fifths plus two twenty-fifths plus one twenty-fifth, and I get five twenty-fifths, which is the same as one-fifth. So there's a couple different ways to look at that. So really it's about, I think, practicing this and kind of getting a sense for this. I'm sure there's lots of other videos out there to kind of explore, but highly recommend. I think this is a great way to organize your thinking and showing kind of evidence of your understanding, um, especially if the outcomes are not equally 